Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Good Morning Soul. And today, gonna be doing another look at a character. Going to be doing another Pokemon. That's right, we're on our uh, eighth Pokemon. So, like, we're almost done with all the Gen 1 starters. That is an accomplishment. And, like, I know that, like, the way you guys are listening to this like it's not like the order that I'm recording this in um, but like that Squirtle one I just recorded for like I just recorded the Squirtle one that was my 100th one that I've recorded so I'm like a f almost like somewhere between a third and a fourth of the way done with this project which I remember like when I was like a sixth of the way done with the project it was kind of just like god damn like that's that's a lot like I have a lot of these to record so to be done with like a hundred is like and like to see like I still have a hell of a lot of time before uh, my birthday like it really gives me hope that I'm able to finish this series because um, I think it is very imperative that I like get it done before like my birthday because after that it's kind of just like oh like I like I don't know like I'm iffy about it but anyway we're talking about War Turtle, which the best thing about this guy is his name, War Turtle. Like Blastoise is a cool name, Squirtle, you know, very cute name, but War Turtle. And very much like um, how I described the other, like all the middle Pokemon to me are either awkward teenagers or they're just slick versions of their previous forms. And War Turtle is just like a teenage Squirtle. He is an angsty, like, like I know, like they were joking that like Squirtle is a gangster, but War Turtle actually looks like he could do some shit. Like, um, like he's mean mug in, in this photo I, I'm looking at right now. Like he is, like his eyes are just like focused, and he's like, mm hmm, like he's got this mischievous grin, like. I don't know why they would go for that like with Ivysaur and Charmeleon it's not like they have a permanent like expression stuck on their head but War Turtle is always frowning and he's never like I don't know he's either mischievously grinning or he's frowning but anyway um he's probably my least favorite out of these three and I I know I, I'm gonna give him a lower score than the other ones which by the way I didn't even give a score for Squirtle so right away, I'm going to go back and say Squirtle concept design, 4 out of 5. Um, as a Pokemon, 5 out of 5. Sorry for not having that. But anyway, um, which I know I've given the same scores for all these Pokemon. But that's because they're all kind of at the same level for me. But anyway, War Turtle, my least favorite out of this group just because I don't really like the things going on with his ears. I don't like, like um, his like... He's like a darker blue than Squirtle, but like uh, he's not like the same color as Blastoise. There's just nothing about War Turtle. Like Ivysaur, at least he's in Smash Brothers and he's like something. Uh, with Charmeleon, it's like, okay, you're gonna turn into a Charizard and you're like, you're kind of like the most iconic of the three. But War Turtle, I get nothing from. Like he's just kind of like, like if there's nothing worse than like when you're playing pokemon and it's like you get a worse pokemon after you evolve it and like ivysaur and charmeleon it's not like uh it's kind of just like well okay like i'm just gonna evolve it as soon as i can though but with war turtle it's like i need to evolve this guy like i'm not gonna look at this thing any longer than i have to like he's like he's like he's all right he's all right like at the end of the day but like nobody gives a shit about war turtle nobody no one's favorite pokemon is war turtle no one is getting war turtle merch but anyway um war turtle um let's talk about his shiny form his shiny form is probably the coolest out of like the three middle people because he's like purplish and his shell is like goldish like it's not like that bright of a color but it's like an actual interesting color like I love when Pokemon actually 
um, the shiny forms actually like pop and like really kind of make you go like, ooh, like a red Gyarados, like a black Charizard, like, like so many of them are just kind of like, ugh, like shiny Pikachu, shiny, um, or some other ones like shiny Bulbasaur, um, where it's just kind of like, like even shiny Squirtle, the last one I talked about, it's just like, ugh. But some fun facts, his Japanese name is Kamer. His French name is Karaboff. His German name is Schluck. I believe that's how you pronounce that. And like um, the other, like his counterparts, he is 87% male. He is three feet tall and weighs 50 pounds. I think of like a three foot tall, like dog weighing 50 pounds. That is a heavy motherfucker. Like, I could, like, lifting a war turtle is like lifting weights. Like, you could just lift, you could put, like, two war turtles on a, a bench press and just go at it. Um, yeah. That's, that's a fun thing about war turtle, man. He's a, he's a, that's a fun fact. Anyway, but, going in more into war turtle here, um, he... It's just, I don't, like, have that much to talk about. Like, like, I know that, like, these, I don't even know. I literally was going to say this person was going to use him. Now I remember that this person had a different Pokemon. So did anyone have a War Turtle? Did anyone, like, have a War Turtle in the entire fucking anime? Like, out of the hundreds of characters that was in that show, did any of them have a War Turtle? any of them like like misty would never have a war turtle he, she would keep a squirtle like if she had a pokemon because you know we don't want to look at this thing like if we have to if there's one thing i can compliment him on it's his tail like i like the fact that his tail has turned into this like cloudy like it looks like he's like you could see this guy like swimming in a current and like his tail just kind of like becoming like this cloudy like transparent thing within the water like that's cool but the thing that doesn't make sense is when he turns into blastoise his tail gets really fucking small like, he literally just has like a normal turtle's tail like it's nothing like at all like the past previous forms made it look like he just has a normal fucking tail i don't know how that happens like I really hate when Pokemon do this. There's like these couple of Pokemon who will like lose body parts. Like a uh, Snivy. It doesn't have arms for its final form. Like imagine if you evolved and you lost your arms. Like that would suck. Like like what if War Turtle really loved his tail and then he's like, fuck, it's like practically gone now. Like why did I evolve? Ugh. And that, that's it. That's all I got for War Turtle. I'm sorry, guys. He's not an interesting Pokemon. If I were to give his character design uh, a rating, it would be 2 out of 5. It's decent. It's alright. If I were to rate him as a Pokemon, it would be a 2 out of 5. He's alright. Anyway, those are my thoughts on War Turtle, the 7th, or yeah, well, no, he's the 8th. He's the 8th Pokemon. The eighth wonder of the world, War Turtle. I love, that's one, okay, that's one thing I can also give him a compliment on. I love in the Pokemon rap, uh, I hope you guys all know what the Pokemon rap is, but like, I love when like, the guy says War Turtle, cause he's like, War Turtle. On the night. But anyway, thank you guys for listening. As always, you are the best. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul. And if you don't like these Pokemon reviews, don't worry. There's not that many more. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. And with that, I leave you.